QtQuick is basically an amazing new technology that we have to deliver uh, real dynamic and animated UIs quickly on multiple platforms at the same time. And the performance you have when, when you're coding QtQuick increases your productivity quite a bit as, as a developer. My passion is using QtQuick and, and delivering more usable, high-level components to people so that they can create complex applications faster. So what is the Qt uh, components for desktop? Um, it's basically um, intended to give an, an option for those people that used widgets in the previous Qt4 architecture and move that into the OpenGL Teen Graph universe, which we have on Qt5. So it basically gives you replacement for all the familiar controls such as windows, combo boxes, menus, uh, but also a lot of other complex uh, things that you don't necessarily think about so much like uh, tool tips and, and cursor control and uh, scroll areas and accessibility support. Because those things are actually kind of hard to do when you're doing pure cute quick uh, items from scratch because those are kind of boring details. So what we're going to deliver is basically a set of components that, that does the boring things for you but still allows you to be in control of how they look and feel. You see the increasing uh, other technologies like HTML are sort of leading in the same direction. People don't want boring uh, Windows-like layouts with just buttons and controls anymore. They want something that's truly shiny and fun. And Qt Quick gives that power to everyone on any platform. But one thing you can do is you can add shaders as part of the QML declaration itself, like uh, shadows and blur, and all these things are really easy to achieve now. You will be able to have your windows pop out with really cool transition effects. Uh, making shiny buttons is actually something I do with a passion now, whereas before I just didn't care. You would just throw a system button in there and leave it at that. It's important to, to realize that for most developers that already have applications, they won't actually notice that much difference when we deploy Qt5 because it's just going to be a simple transition for them. They have to change their import statements and, 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 and modify their project files a bit, but most of the old things are still in there. A product like Qt cannot really be developed by just one entity, especially if you want to focus on the, the open source part. And RSC is tremendously important to us. Like pretty much any time of day, you can just open up the channel and start talking directly to developers. I think that's one of the cool aspects of, of working for, for Qt is that we have this open collaboration and we talk directly to the people that are using the product. And I see this as, as very important in moving forward.